Good morning. It's September 30th and I'm up in my studio, got my coffee. It's about 6.20 in the morning and I've had these ideas the last couple of days and I would like to share them with you about my scroll roll. I've been working on the segments and pretty soon it'll be time to attach these segments together and so I would like to share some of these um, ideas with you. All right, I just want to talk about my scroll roll. This is one I've done before, and I just wanted to share with you. I'll undo this just a little bit, just so that you could see where I'm going with this. Um, this is the inside of the scroll, and um, I have a little tab to start it off with, and here are some of the um, images. Each one of these are individual segments. I've drawn, I've used dyes, I've used image transfers, I've used natural things, even found stuff um, in these. And then at the very end, I have a stick so that it ends, you know, it holds the scroll together. And what I'm looking at right now is like these little seams that are here that can help hold it together. Because sometimes the design has gone all the way to the edge of the watercolor paper that I use. So I'm just going to take this and set this over here. So that's what I'm talking about here. I have 14 of these. I looked at them, evaluated them, and I think what I'm going to do is make 20, and that will be my limit. And then I have to think about something as a tab like this part right here. So I got some more watercolor paper. I've got it torn here and that's in the box there. But the problem with these, problem to be solved, which I um, enjoy, is what to use in between. Because sometimes the design, I don't want to cover over it and I want it to attach really good. So this one here is um, going to need something in between there. I have old prayer flags um, that I've saved and the material is kind of weathered and it's got acrylic paint on there. Some of them it tears really easy, but this might be something um, to think about is to put in between there. And I would cut a piece and then this will allow it to um, attach and you can see the individual um, segments that are here. I also have, um, pull it out of a bag. This is from my apron. Um, I just couldn't throw it away. Ooh, there's some, some stuff in that bag there. <laughs> Um, and so this could also be something to use its material in between there. It's pliable. It'll help the scroll roll around there that way. There's also different things that you can find in our recycling. Um, some of our stuff that we put in recycling. You know, here's an onion bag. You can hand stitch these together and have something that's transparent in between there. And you can put that. Uh, this is from my bird seed that I got, this plastic bag like this. This is really woven pretty neat, so that could be something that's used in there. So this is the point now where, um, got all these little bits, that this creative process and doing these um, individual little sketches and things like that, I've set up an assignment, a plan, and like I said, the backs are all going to have some kind of a die or um, a wash and a circle that's on the back of those. I can finish up the circle and do some different things to this. So this is not a quick um, art uh, project. It takes a little while to do these segments that are here. And you can hand sew or you can stitch on there. You can add and glue. You can paint. Whatever your heart desires with these. But I'm just showing you right now, um, I never know what I'm going to do with them. And I um, and it's exciting. You know, it's kind of like just letting go of that part and then letting the ideas just kind of, um, you know, kind of brew up inside of you. So I'm excited to have made this, you know, this awareness that I've got 14 of them. I'm going to do six more. I've gathered some sticks and these things just kind of come together. And this is really interesting. Like I said, this stick here I found out of our maple tree and it has some insect um, trails on there. And so maybe if I dye this um, or stain it, you know, you can even see those lines a little bit more. This stick here came out of Lake Michigan. So this is probably a root. Um, this here is, I believe, um, it's, I scraped it off of there. It is a stick. It might be from a, um, oh my gosh, 
I'm trying to think about it, not buckthorn, but um, a honeysuckle um, bush that you find out there in the woods that was just laying on the side, so I just kind of peeled off the edge. And here's another one here. So I'm preparing and gathering these things so that I have the supplies to work with. And then you can always add more embellishments and just let it grow, you know. Um, and that's the exciting part about it. So this is where I am right now with my scroll roll, and I just wanted to share with you.